All right, hey tubers. On this edition of the James and Mike show without Mike, as you all know, that's the new show. Until Mike decides to make a video, he was going to make a video, but he chickened out. But that's whatever. This is the new name for the show. Maybe just I mean month of the week will be with I mean the James and Mike show because it's animated. He's tackling there, but not. But Let's get, let's get to the point. Um, someone commented about the glasses I wear um, in the videos. Like 80% of the time in my videos, you see me wearing glasses. But if you don't like them, I'll take them off and just leave the hat on. So, see? Putting glasses over there. But, um, but of course, I wear hats. Because, like, whatever. Um, well, today's topic. Let me get my headphones on. Just to follow the video why I'm talking. Because I just feel like it. That's my little headphones. But, um, okay. Today we're going to talk about Ford Lane Keeping System. It's actually a pretty cool system. It's actually like, um, it keeps you in the lanes and, and all that. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it actually. Yeah, actually, what well, I just heard it, I'm going with the video, but um, it actually prevents you from, it actually follows the lines on in the, on the road, and if you're swerved to one side, it actually kind of like vibrates the steering wheel to warn you, and to make you go straight. Um, and it you can yeah well what the video just said drifting um so when you drift it to the lane it will kind of like vibrate vibrate the steering wheel yeah it will just vibrate the steering wheel ford actually has a how the system works Did you actually see the video it actually works. It has a camera in front of the vehicle, and it that's how it knows what when you're in a lane, and it will. That's how it knows. It just guides you right in a lane. If you swerve, it will. Uh, just ignore that. But it will guide you. It will like vibrate the steering wheel to alert you, to for you to correct yourself. I think it's pretty cool. I think the next step of this to this, it probably will be, we don't have to drive, the car will drive himself. Because if it does this, hey, think about it, it stays in that lane. But the only problem with this technology, I remember without even listening to the video. But um, the only problem with this technology is if the road don't have a line, um, it, 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 there's a little display. When you know it's in a video, it would show you when the system's working. The only time I probably work on highways or on normal roads. But Arna, it won't work because if the road don't have a line, it won't work. Yeah, well, lane keeping aid in this system will keep, will alert you to stay in the, in the center of the lane. The distance belay markings, it will, you know, go markings. Like if you're weaving, it would. All right. Well, it has a front camera and has other sensors in the vehicle. It will just sense you that you're weaving, so it will just kind of guide you back in in there. Well, tell you, you know, like it will say, "Hey, you have to." I think it's that shake thing again. It just, you know, guide you where you have to go back. All right. Well, when you signal on this system too, it. It would deactivate the system because it would say, "Oh, okay, you're changing lanes." So as soon as you deactivate, as soon as you signal, it would deactivate it, and without intervention, meaning with the, it won't shake the steering wheel. You can cancel the system by hard turning or deceleration or braking on it. So that's how it like. 
dis it um deactivates it. Oh, and actually this system too, it actually um uh if your hands are not on the steering wheel, it would actually sense and it would get it, something displays and actually senses say it would say keep hands on steering wheel. That's pretty cool. I don't know how this system would really work. I don't know how that would really work because I drive like this. Like this. This is how I drive. One hand here and one hand down here. That's how I drive. Sometimes I drive like this, but 90% of the time I drive like this, especially with my truck. I drive like this. So I don't know how that would work. I really don't know. It's a good idea, but how would that work if well, you have to keep your hands like this? I don't know. If your hand, like, if your hands are still not on the steering wheel, um, the system was the text say you're relying on me. So what it would do is it will give you a chime, like a beep beer, something like that. You're hit a video. It actually warns you that hey, you can't rely on me. You have to keep your hands on the steering wheel. That's pretty smart. Driver aid system. A driver alert system, sorry. It actually will, if you're drowsy, it will actually sense how, how you're driving. Mounted on the windshield. Again, same one. All right. If you're still weaving and you're drowsy, I think it's good for trunks in a way so that's if don't forget that's if it has the consistent like the lines are consistent like I can't say it I never can say words right that's if the line if the road has lines this is the only time the system will work so it actually senses if you're weaving it actually will warn the driver it will have a driver alert warning Rest suggestion. May it actually tell you to rest. There will be another. If the system still senses that you're drowsy, and you're weaving a little bit, it will have another. But this beep will be like beep 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 beep. I can't really do the beep that good, but it will have another warning. It will say driver alert. Driver alert warning. Rest now. It's basically telling you to rest now. And it actually has a little monitoring. It has like a little steering wheel. And it has like a little coffee cup. And then it has oh, about four greens, a yellow, and a red. And when you're on the yellow, the system, it actually, they actually said on the video, I remember this part. Um, they actually said that they recommend to, for you to actually stop and rest um, the system when you rest the system will automatically turn off and reset itself when you turn the vehicle off or open one of the doors well Ford I don't recommend but open the doors because there may be some people out there that actually would open the door and shut the door while they're driving. They should have had it where as soon as you stop and turn a vehicle off, then it resets itself. But then, in my opinion, that's another little case on case. It maybe should have, have it where it won't reset itself. Maybe after 15 minutes or 10 minutes. I mean, what's your opinion on I think like 15 or 10 minutes. Just to give you a little napper napper or whatever. Um, then the system should re re restart again. Um, but then again, guess you just get a coffee, get it real fast, get some energy and go back in. Maybe it is good. I don't know. What's your opinion about it? I really don't know about it. But... Well, that's basically my preview, my preview of the Ford's new system that they came out with.
to help drivers for not falling asleep on the sorry on the road um, I think it's a pretty good system I think the future is coming where we don't have to we could just fall asleep in our, in our vehicles and let it drive you know, by itself eventually I think it will come eventually take this damn headphones off pretty hot but, but um I think it's a pretty good system actually I think it's pretty cool Really, I think it's cool. I mean, it would actually, I think it's actually good for, um, for teenagers that it would help them out driving, really. I mean, teenagers, um, even older folks. I think it would help any everyone out, especially new drivers. It would help them out to stay in the lane to say, okay, you know, this is center lane, you stay in there, and I think it will help them out, really. Um, well, that's it. Um, I just want you guys, your opinion, what do you think about this new system that Ford came out with? Um, please have um, com put your thoughts about it, your comments about it about this new system Ford came out with down on the bottom. Um, I'll put the link on the bottom. Um, and don't forget, I still want your opinions about Mike. Um, what do you think about him? Do you like him? Um, what can he change? What can we change on the show? Um, as I said, I got comments about the glasses. I won't wear the glasses. The hat, uh, my hair is always messy, but I like, I'm a hat person, so. Um, but you know, what can we change? What can we do? What's the topics? Well, we always say this, what topics do you guys want us to talk about? Where I don't have to come with Pacific, the topic you want us to talk about, or talk about. If I get Mike into it, then we'll talk about it. If not, I'll talk to myself. I'll talk to what my opinions are. And how we'll go from there. Um, so that's it, tubers. Please comment on this video and please subscribe to my channel. Alright, see you tubers.